Isabella Tampinko belonged to a prominent family. His middle name was Lacandula. He was studying in Ateneo. Eventually, Tampinko went into sculpture. He became the foremost sculptor in the country, an ornamental sculptor, or what was called up to now, a laborista. He became very famous because of the work that he did for the old Santo Domingo Church in Intramuros. He also did some work in San Agustin, but his most famous work was doing the interior of the church of San Ignacio, the Jesuit church, which was the last church built in Intramuros towards the end of the Spanish regime. He was really famous for the ornament and then his furniture. This particular day bed, or what some people call a divan, antique dealers call a Cleopatra, was made by Tampinko. They call it Cleopatra because in the 19th century, many paintings showing the death of Cleopatra lying on a day bed such as this. Now, this particular piece has all the signature of Tampinko. You will notice the anahao leaf. All around the frame is carved camote vines, camote leaves mixed with anahao. Very typical Tampinko. It's very graceful and beautifully carved. And even the back of the small backrest is carved in full. Maximo Viola was the son of an ascendero from San Miguel, Bulacan. He met Jose Rizal and became his best friend while both of them were studying in Spain. He came back to practice medicine in San Miguel, Bulacan. After the revolution, Maximo Viola had a hobby. He was living in uh, San Miguel, Bulacan all throughout his life, but his hobby was making kamagong furniture. And he would design the furniture and make it himself. And this particular piece is one of the very few pieces that he made for himself. And it is entirely of kamagong. The only thing that is not kamagong here is the bottom part, which seems to be of thin or because the umbrellas, when they drip the water, they have to have the lining there so it doesn't drip and ruin the floor. But this particular piece, you will notice the holes here are big because they're for umbrellas. It can also be used as a cane stand and then you notice the hooks, they are all for the hats. This particular piece was designed by him, probably influenced by Isabella Tampinko because Tampinko made furniture for Viola also. This one is dated, it's written in the bamboo leaves, 1916. This piece must have taken years to make and was made by Maximo Viola for his personal use in his house in San Miguel, Bulacan. 